Hey and welcome to the tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Twitch logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint and it will be a little bit easier than it seems because there is a font named uh, Twitch TV or Twitch TV which you can download from DeviantArt so I will put the link in the description that will make things much easier of course. So let's jump to the PowerPoint. The left one is an image, the right one is the logo created inside PowerPoint. So I will start with a blank slide where I already have this logo pasted in and we will be working with the, like the white color so it's usually a good idea when working with white colors to make sure that the you know slide or page background is not white as well so I'll select design format background and I will set you know any kind of color I will probably not go with the, with the violet one just so I can see where the image ends and you know all the stuff so I may choose like a lighter violet color that, that's probably fine I will insert a new text box and I will of course type in Twitch and I will set the font of course to Twitchy TV. That should be fine for now. And I will raise the size of the font to maybe like, I don't know, 40 or 50. I don't know, 50 is probably too much. So 47, that seems about right. I will move this to the right side and we need this white outline for the text and the 3D extrusion. So the white outline is pretty easy, we can just add the solid solid line but not for the shape itself but for the text. So if I add the solid line, you know, make it much wider, you will see we will add, it, add the outline. The problem is it also goes inside the letters. So what I need to do is I need to copy this text one more time and add the outline for this one. So I will add the outline for this one, it will be white, that's fine. I will tweak the values once I move this below the first one. So I will select a send to back and I will probably raise it to maybe like, I don't know, 15 points. That's fine. You can see it's kind of rounded. That's not what we want. So we have to change the join type from rounded to the last one, which is the meter. This will create those hard edges, which is exactly what we are looking for. So the missing part for the text is actually the 3D extrusion. And the thing is that if I just, you know, try to add the 3D extrusion for this text, so I just set the 3D rotation to the perspective and just, you know, add the depth. You know, the moment I added the depth, I will change the, you know, outline color so you can see it better. If I change the outline to maybe like red and make it a little bit smaller, maybe like 10. So when you add the depth to the 3D text, so I add, add depth, sorry, you know, suddenly the outline disappears. So it's gone. You cannot get the outline going outside of the letters when you have a 3D extrusion for the text. So we have to add this in a different way and that will be having the contour. So we cannot have the outline so I can you know, get rid of the outline, doesn't make no difference. But I will add the contour. So once we add the contour, we'll get better, you know, bigger results or bigger outlines. So the only thing is to make sure that the depth is actually set to white color as well as the text fill, which is set to white color. Okay, the depth contour is of course white as well. And then we will maybe increase the perspective a little bit and make sure it's a little bit rotated, maybe like this. Like this. I will move it below the original text, make sure somehow it's, it's aligned and send this to back. And that should be fine. Actually, I will maybe rotate it a little bit less, maybe like this. Maybe I will also increase the contour just, just a tiny bit. You know, it's all playing with the with those subtle changes to make sure it looks fine. That's probably fine. Okay, so we can change this to be a violet actually. So it's matching the logo on the left side and we can move to this to this head symbol. This is actually inside the font as well, but it's not quite working well inside PowerPoint. If I select insert text box and I try to insert a symbol, so insert symbol from this font. Where is the symbol? Okay, insert. I still cannot see it. Okay, insert symbols. If I try to insert a symbol from Twitchy, Twitchy TV font. It's probably this one. And when I resize it, I can I can a little see you know for like a fraction of time, it's being cropped, and I'm not quite sure if there is a way how to get it displayed right. So this time we probably cannot just 
rely on this symbol but we have to draw it from scratch anyway it should be fairly easy because it's just you know few lines so i'll zoom over the image on the left side and i will try to trace this shape for this i will use insert shapes and i will use this shape which has this one corner being cut out so i will draw it like this then i will flip it or vertically and make it a little bit bigger and I will add a new triangle so insert shapes I will add this triangle again I will flip this triangle vertically move it like this that's like the first shape I will probably reuse this one for the bigger one as well so I'll just resize it like this you know just adjust the size properly adjust this corner and use the very same shape even for this like the arrow on the bottom should be fine okay if I will change the transparency to a little bit transparent you can see that the left top corner is being cut out a little bit maybe the fastest way is just to draw a rectangle like this which we will subtract from this shape so I will subtract this rectangle using the format merge shape subtract and I will add this shape to it so merge shapes union I will probably show the selection pane and hide it for now if I can somehow manage to show it I can't okay never mind so I'll just move it to the side I will merge to those, those two shapes together so select uh, sh format pane merge shapes union again I will move it to the side and I will draw those two small rectangles so one rectangle and the other one actually I will move this uh, bring this to front and this should be also bring to front okay so this should be no line and white fill this one should be of course no line as well but the fill will be violet and the last one is no outline and the fill is white okay and that should be it for the head so I will select all four shapes I will group them together and move them over our existing you uh, know text like this so the only missing part is to make sure that the background is the same as this violet color so I'll again select the design format background and set the fill to be the violet one which is this one and that's it that's how you create a twitch logo inside Microsoft PowerPoint in almost no time thanks for watching